Welcome to Mehdia, a city in the south of the Mediterranean Sea, rocked by the mild weather of Tunisia and nestled in the heart of a heavenly coast, bordered by interminably wonderful beaches of fine sand and turquoise water. Mehdia, a seaside city on the Tunisian eastern coast, is located 125 miles south of the capital Tunis and less than 25 miles from the international airport of Monastir, which is only two hours flight from the largest European cities. Here in Mehdia, the magic of life in the open air and near the sea is a recurrent pleasure that once you have experienced, you will never do without. No one could imagine a more delightful atmosphere where you will spend soft, vibrant summers on the waterfront or sunny, hot winters far from busy cities. But Mehdia is not one of those tourist cities, fallaciously set up on a heavenly site. It is a thousand-year-old city which, at its peak, was the capital of one of the most powerful empires of the southern Mediterranean basin, that of the Fatimids, who even founded in the 10th century the city of Cairo in Egypt. Built on a peninsula of about 5,000 feet long and 1,650 feet wide, Mehdia has been since olden days a powerful and strategic town. Out of its past glory, Mehdia succeeded in preserving through centuries its exciting and ancient monuments. The old Punic port, formerly a powerful trade and military port, dug in the rocks. The Ottoman fort, a real fortress built in the 16th century to defend the city against the many invaders. And the Medina, which has remained definitely the living heart, reconciling antique and modern Mehdia. In the Medina, the strollers will follow irresistibly the same eternal course. They will cross the weekly market square, while going past the large mosque built in the 10th century and renovated a thousand years later. On their way, they will linger at the many stalls of the souks to admire and haggle over while visiting the craft workshops of embroidery, silk and traditional carpets or to have a rest for a while in the Cairo Square. Once in Skifa Kahla, literally the Black Hall, they will come across a magnificent gate which formally ordered the entry to the peninsula of Mehdia. Finally, on the way back, they will have the opportunity to savor a delicious Turkish coffee at the Medina coffee shop in front of the sea. But the appealing charm of Mehdia lies in its heavenly beaches spread out as far as the eye can see, where whiteness of fine sand and turquoise tones of crystalline seawater give all its magic to this marvellous coast where modern Mehdia has developed. In Mehdia, sport lovers will be able to do various activities, such as golf, whose course is delightfully facing the sea, while sea lovers will be able to enjoy the pleasures of scuba diving, whether they are beginners or experienced. The seabed of Mehdia indeed conceals almost undamaged wrecks which date back to the Second World War as well as the Middle Ages. As for gastronomists, they will be able to enjoy the traditional food, another major asset of the area, with the finest and most delicious dishes, including mainly fish and sea products. Sailing on pirate boats is also one of the many exquisite pleasures which Mehdia offers to its guests. Departing from the fishing port, one of the most important in Tunisia, famous in the Mediterranean for fishing bluefish, these multicolored ships crisscross the coasts for a trip of discovery and a change of scenery. 
The nights of Mehdia, especially in summer, are sometimes more beautiful than its days. By the magic of music and light, and within less than one hour, El Gem Colosseum, the best preserved in the world after that of Rome, changes every year into a magnificent stage to welcome one of the most important festivals of classical music in the Mediterranean. In the evenings, the terraces of coffee shops in Mahdia turn into a living place of meeting for evening gatherings until dawn, rocked by multicolored music and a feast atmosphere, at a time intimate and lively. <laughs> 